All right, guys, Mr. G here back with Disco Elysium. I want to give you guys some basic beginner tips because this game doesn't do a lot in the way of tutorial. In fact, it does pretty much zero in the way of explaining what you can do. We're going to start out with some ways to make money. Number one, grab yourself a yellow bag. Go around and equip it, and you can collect yourself some bottles. Just like any good hobo cop, you'll be able to sell these for money. Later down the road, you can find the yellow bag just to the southwest of uh, where you're going to start out in the game. Next up, you can head over to Frit, and you can sell these as a vending machine you're going to find right inside the shop. Um, another place that's handy for making money is this apartment right up here. There's a lot of easy coins you can grab. doesn't even count as stealing in this game. So there you go. You're going to go ahead and click on the machine. We made one entire reel. Look at us. Uh, next up, take a look at the pawn shop. It's another place you can sell things for cash. Also, another thing they don't tell you is you can hold down tab to see anything that you can interact with in your environment. It's like a perception button. Definitely always want to be hitting tab. Because you're going to find little nooks and crannies, and in those are clues or cash. And we can always use some extra cash because you're going to have to pay for your bed every night. Another thing they don't explain is that you can run in this game, you just have to double click. Another tip is you're going to want to save your skill points. You're going to come in and you're going to have to do some checks in certain areas and you'll want to invest those before you have to do dicey rolls. Next up, think about clothing. Clothing can give you a number of different bonuses and or just look silly and have fun dressing up your hobo cop. And you can sell unwanted clothing to the pawn shop if he's in a good mood. Another thing you're going to want to grab early on in the game is you're going to want to grab yourself a book. Because in Disco Elysium, time only passes when you're talking. And sometimes you're going to want to move that clock forward and reading a book, you can interact with it, is a way to move the time forward in game without having to dialogue with another character. Believe me, this will come in handy. You may not think so right now, but moving the clock forward um, is absolutely an essential part of this game, depending on what you want to be doing. Time is a big part of Disco Elysium, and running around all day doesn't tick by any time at all. Like I said, you can run the time up by talking to people, reading books. Another option is you can sit on the bench just to the south of where you start out. However, you have to ditch Kim to do that. He is not particularly fond of wasting time when y'all are on a case. Another unique thing about Disco Elysium is you can learn different thoughts as you go throughout the game. Um, you can spend skill points to unlock slots for new thoughts, or you can spend a skill point to forget a thought, letting you equip more. Now, your character has two stats that are going to be really important, and that's health and morale. And in dialogue options, you can lose health and or morale, and if you lose all of them, you're done. Game over. Um, you can get charges like from medical items that can boost these, so make sure you're paying attention to those. The number on the top is the number of health or morale charges you have that you can use in conversation. Last but not least, you may want to get up to some crazy hobo cop action that you can't get away with Kim in the room doing it, so wait for him to go to bed and you can sneak off and do that. That's it for this one, guys. Be good, Mr. G out.